According to today's guest, finding your mate online is easy, as long as you follow some of their true and tested strategies. Stay tuned. I'm Andrea Sirtash, and this is On Dating. Do you think you can find your true love online? It's very difficult for me to believe that I can find a true love on, a, on the net or whatsoever. I think you can find true love anywhere if you're looking for it. I highly doubt it. Impossible. Because you don't know who's out there, you don't know who you're meeting. I think it's possible. Finding true love online is probably not the best place to look in my opinion. I actually know somebody who finds true love online. My sister-in-law, basically, she's getting married to a guy that she just met online, so I believe in that. After years of dating in the real world, Karen Anderson and Beth Roberts decided to be proactive with their dating lives. They studied the world of internet dating and both met their husbands online. Now, these two friends and business executives have decided to make online dating a business and teach people how to date online effectively. So welcome. So how did you guys um, make the decision to go online in the first place and what did you find when you went online? Well, we were friends. We met in the mid-90s in the entertainment industry. We both work in the entertainment industry. And we started exploring the internet just sort of casually, just looking to see what other people were doing, what it was all about. And we started, I guess, as voyeurs online. Mm -hmm. And we would look at other people's ads, and at that time there were just Word documents with lots and lots of language, and we would see what other people were saying and posting. And after a while, we started noticing that some of the men that were reading their, their postings were kind of attractive. They were interesting. They were people that we'd actually be interested in dating. What are the, some of the don'ts that you see people doing in online dating? I'd say the biggest don't involves photos. People don't think about who their audience is going to be. So maybe women will think, wow, this is a really cute photo of me, but it's from college or, you know, it's outdated or uh, I was at uh, fault with this. They put pictures of themselves with their niece or nephew or friends or their dog who might be adorable, but the man really wants you to be the focus. And with men, vice versa. The number one photo don't for men is that we tell them, don't post a picture of you leaning against your car or your motorcycle. <laughs> you and your buddies may think that's awesome, but women really aren't attracted to that. So really think about who your audience is. So simple is better in terms of photos, would you right. say? Right. And you know, you find as you meet people and you talk to people about online dating, one of the biggest fears people have is that you're not going to look like your photograph or you're not going to be the person that they think you are. So you want to make sure you take a new photograph. We have a lot of do's and don'ts about how you would take that photograph, but take a new one. It's got to be current, accurate, and make you look good. Not too good, but make you look good. That's great. What are some of your do's, other do's and photos? Make it new. What else would you suggest? You should be the center of attention. Don't have anyone else in your photo. If you have a recent photo that you like with a friend in it, don't have, you know, crop them out. Just you should be the center of attention. And also do a close-up and a full length shot because everybody, both men and women, want to see the whole package. Right. We had a, a client who gave us a photograph to post online um, and it had him and it cut his arm. He clearly had his arm around a girl and it <laughs> cut the girl's arm. So we said, no, 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 no. That looks like you've got a girlfriend and it's a breakup or something. Get us another photograph. Don't have anyone in it. So the next photograph he sent us was him with a baby in the picture <laughs> and he's single without kids. And we said, no, people don't have context. You have this memory that's wrapped around the photo. You're at a party with a glass of wine and it was so fun. Or you had a bow on your head and at your birthday party and it shows your, you know, your light gay side when you're a lawyer or something. But people don't have context. So you want to think about who's going to be looking at it. Your audience. You, your audience. Yeah. And when you take a photograph, show it to a friend. We always want you to involve other people in online dating because you're going to be very subjective. Get some objectivity. Does this look like me? Is this too good? Is this not good enough? You know, help, have friends weigh in and tell you what to do. I totally agree with that and I, I always tell clients that as well. I mean, they're your best and most honest audience some of the time. If it's a good friend, right. you and can pick trust a friend, him or her. Pick a friend similar to whom you'd like to meet. Oh, that's so a good point. So if you really want to meet a nice, responsible man and settle down, don't pick your friend who's the, you know, playboy bachelor at age 45. Don't ask his opinion. I, for example, picked a, a good friend's husband that I really admired. I liked the traits about him. And so I would ask his feedback on my photos, on my ad, and it worked. Yeah. The, my husband is very similar to 
best friend's husband. And it's really important to get the male perspective if you're a female and a female perspective if you're a male because again they look at things differently. The other sex or the, the people that you're looking to meet might look at things differently and so it's cute to you, it's, co it's cloying to them. Those are the kinds of things you want to avoid. You also have something in your book which is very cute by the way, the visuals are awesome. You have these three steps of dating. Can you tell me what that is and a tip from each? When you're a beginner you're going to have a different approach than when you're in the intermediate stages or in the expert stages. So we start with getting online and creating an ad. That's the first step. For a lot of people, particularly older people, they're still wondering sort of, they have their computer at work, but they tend to use it for emails. They don't really know how to access the, what their ISP should be and how to access different sites and what's free and what costs and things like that. So our book starts with just a general education about how to get online and then how to create an ad. You know, storing files on your computer and how you, what, what's a Word document, what's a photo, how do you scan it, things like that. Then our second chapter, once you've posted your ad, is screening your replies and having fun dating. That's where you sort of weed through the number of people who are going to respond to your ad and you figure out who's right for you to date and who's not right for you to date. Then for our experts in dating, <laughs> it's finding and marrying your mate. So those are for the people who've had a number of successful internet relationships but haven't really found the person that they want to settle down with. And so there are tools in each of those chapters that we developed as part of our searching, finding our mate online process that help you focus and get to the point in each chapter where you're ready to go from one to the next and have success in dating. What I love also about um, how you both approached it is the consciousness around it. A lot of people are just, I think dating can be very fun and it doesn't always have to lead to finding your mate. But it's, it's important to just know what you want and be conscious about it, articulate it even to yourself, right, before you get out there. Well, it's funny because these are tried and tested rules that people have been following for hundreds of years. You know, the power of positive thinking, think and grow rich, and now the secret that's, you know, huge everywhere. But really what it is is be very focused on what you want, be very clear, and then go out and find it. And manifest it. And manifest, manifest it, yes. Nice. Okay, so since we're all dating coaches, I think it would be really great if we could share our top dating tips with the viewers. So what would yours be? I'd choose safety. People always ask about how they can be safe on the internet and we tell them it's no different than any other kind of dating. So whatever safety tips you apply, if you were meeting someone for a cup of coffee or if you met someone in a bar or at the library or grocery store, use those same precautions when you do online dating. Great point. What's one of your online dating tips? Well we put a favorite quote in our book which is, the successful people are willing to do what the unsuccessful are unwilling to do. We put it in there because I tried online dating for several years before I met my husband. And I know that might sound daunting to some people, but it was definitely worth it because I met a wonderful man online. So don't give up no matter what. Don't give up and take risks, I think. Is definitely. Definitely yeah. important. And for me, I always tell clients it's the power of your attitude, positive thinking. You're going to attract what you put out. So if you want to attract greatness, be great. Show up in a really great way. So Karen and Beth, thank you so much for being here and sharing some really great insights into the world of online dating and meeting your mate online. Thank Thanks. you for having us. We had a great time. Here are some tips on finding your mate online. Take a fabulous new picture of yourself by yourself for your dating profile. Get the opinion of the opposite sex on your profile. And be focused when writing your profile. Always know your target audience. So check out Karen and Beth's website at FindingYourMateOnline.com. And remember, even a bad date makes a great story. So get out there and always have fun. Thanks for watching on Dating. I'm Andrea Sirtash. See you next time.